Good morning, everyone. Um, particularly, good morning to the owner operators, carriers, truck drivers out here who are looking for a more professional and personalized dispatching or dispatcher to help you maintain loads on a consistent basis. Um, if you are looking for that, um, Exodus Dispatching and Associates would like to be um, considered as an option for you. Um, we will attempt to keep your truck running on a regular basis with steady loads. So as you're under one load, we are finding your next load so you can focus only on driving. We will provide an uh, administrative back office um, tool and resource for you as far as completing your carrier packets and rate confirmations, um, putting out small fires that you may have with brokers or shippers, um, getting correct paperwork transferred over um, to the needed parties who need that paperwork. Um, so while you're focusing on driving, Exodus Dispatching and Associates will be focusing on maintaining the back end so you can that streamlining, that flow, that workflow can go at a um, consistent and regular basis and you can make a steady income for you and your family. Um, what we have done now is we've updated our website to provide a way for carriers to go online if you are interested in our dispatching um, opportunities and services to fill out our dispatcher agreement and the profile sheet um, online and submit it online and it processes through pretty quickly so we can get started on finding you loads. Gone are the days of sending an email with an attached PDF or even an attached PDF DocuSign document where you fill it out that way. You can go directly to the website and do it. It's a little bit more streamlined and uh, quicker and it gets to us and we have a record of it and then we can get started um, with the process of booking loans for you. The dispatch agreement is the agreement between the dispatching company or independent dispatcher and the owner operator or the carrier. In the dispatch agreement it also has the ability to upload other documents that we will eventually need on a regular basis to book loads for you, namely the W-9, the certificate of insurance, and the um, MC authority letter. These are forms that you you typically fill out and submit when you are booking your own loads yourselves as um, as your um, own dispatching and carrier. So um, now what we do is we have you go to our website www.exodusdispatchingandtraining.com which is here on the screen now. If you see this, this will be a YouTube video uploaded and shared with you guys. So you'll be able to um, see it for yourself. I'm just showing you how it's done. So if you decide to use our um, service through the Exodus Logistics Learning Center and Exodus Dispatching and Associates, um, this is how you would do it. So when you get to Exodus Dispatching and Training.com's homepage, you go over to the Carrier Services. I'm going to click on Carrier Services for a second. On this page, this is an infomercial, but on this page where this infomercial YouTube video is, I'm going to put this video that we are doing right now. It's going to be a YouTube recording so you can go and watch it over and over again on how to actually fill out the online dispatcher agreement and profile in order to have us be dispatching for you. Okay, so now if you hover your mouse over carrier services on the main dispatching page, you will see dispatch agreement and then you will see carrier profile. So the first one is the dispatch agreement. If you click that, now you're taken to a second page here, Exodus Dispatcher Agreement. Thank you for choosing Exodus Dispatching and Associates as your dispatching resource. Please complete the form, and it's a simple form. The fee for dispatching services is 10% per book load. Thank you. So now here's the form, and it's pretty straightforward, straight and dry, and you just hit submit. So what it is is for our for us to have an agreement, the required fields are the ones with the asterisks by it. So and I'm going to enter sample metadata or sample information just to show you how it works. Um, your name, we'll just put X Y Z 
an address. We'll just put an address to fill in that information. This is what you'll do. And you can do this on your laptop or your mobile device. And again, if I haven't introduced myself, my, my, my name is Charles. I'm with the Exodus Logistics Learning Center and Exodus Dispatching and Associates. You put an email address and a phone number, your phone number, required fields. Read over the terms and conditions. It's basically saying you, as the carrier, owner, operator, um, is authorizing or giving permission to us, the dispatching company, Exodus Dispatching and Associates, to act as your agent, to book loads for you, do all the broker paperwork and rate confirmation information, things like that. Everything that's involved in making the transition of dispatching loads for you a smooth one uh, is in the terms and conditions. Um, once you are paid first, then we will invoice you. Um, if you have a factoring company, then you will be either paid through the factoring company, whether that's recourse or non-recourse, um, or when we are doing the um, carrier packets of a particular brokerage, in most cases they offer um, three options. The um, one to two day quick pay options, I think that's about five to seven percent or three to five percent. Um, or they offer the five to seven day ACH um, wire transfer. ACH is automated clearing house. It's just a bank transfer with an avoided check or a routing and a routing number and a um, checking or savings number that they can wire the money into your account. And then the third option is the 15 to 30 day, sometimes 45 day check that gets mailed to your physical address. Um, so all that is in the terms and conditions. We also saying to make sure that you maintain all your um, licenses and, and uh, like MC authorities. Make sure you have your W9 is up to date. Make sure that your certificate of insurance policies are not expired. Things like that. Just typical basic stuff to be able to um, book the loads. Because if we go to a broker with expired paperwork, they're going to say, okay, well we need an updated one. So if your W9 is off. Um, if it has your social as opposed to your EIN number or if your certificate of insurance policy is expired for your auto or liability or if your MC authority um, is outdated. So these things we want to make sure it's they're up to date. Um, this is not a required box, but you can put some information in, a note to us. Um, you can submit a date here. This is a required field because we need to know what day that we had the agreement. So I'll go ahead and fill that in. Checking the box here gives us consent to do the carrier packets and rate confirmations on your behalf. Okay? And we will still um, CC you or send you an email and actually call you to go over what is in the packets and some of the things to look for, the dangers to look out for, and the rate confirmations to see if you agree with the numbers. And if, if not, then we will go back to the brokers and try to get that. Uh, that's squared away and settled. And then here's an area with the other documents. Typically we ask for you to upload those documents that we need to standardly book loads um, going forward, which is the W-9, typically the MC authority, and the um, certificate of insurance. And in some cases, if you have a factoring company, um, you can send us a, um, an NOA form to a notice of assignment. So we can send to the broker to run the credit check of the broker to make sure that they are a good broker and they pay on time. And then finally, you know, you just sign it. And I used XYZ trucking as an example, so I'll just sign XYZ. I'm just showing you how it's used, and then I'll hit submit. It's form is being processed. Thank you. Your response is sent. So I'm going to go to my email and show you how quick that came over. And there it is, the same form, and I'll open it up show it to you, XYZ Trucking. Here's the data. So once it hits our company, we have a dispatch agreement with you. Here's that form that we, um, that document that we uploaded. Here's the signature. So we will file that away in our filing system for your trucking company. And that's how fast it goes. The next one, and it clears out the dispatch agreement um, from that point on. So that's the dispatch agreement. That's the contract between the carrier and the dispatcher. That makes us legal. The second one is the carrier profile. What that is, is you telling us how you want to run and the way you want to run. So the carrier profile here is Exodus Dispatcher Carrier Profile. And it's a simple form, too. Pretty simple, straightforward, very quick. So you can quickly get it under a dispatch agreement and profile with us 
send us the documents we need, and then we can get started finding you loads on a consistent basis. Please provide some detailed information about your equipment type or types. You may have more than one equipment type or more than one truck so that we may better, better cater our load search to your profile. So we're trying to find you what you want, when you want it, for how much you want, going to where you want. That is the goal of the profile. So the first one, required field, indicated by the asterisk, equipment type. What type of trailer do you have? Let's say a 53-foot drive-in, for example. Weight limitations, an asterisk is a required field. What is the most weight on your trailer are you willing to haul? Now, for a drive-in, you can haul up to, say, 45,000, but most carriers will say maybe 40,000 because they don't want to burn that much fuel on a maxed-out trailer. They want to keep it efficient. How much money do you need to move your truck? That's a required field. What that's saying is, what is the least cents per mile are you willing to accept per load? The least. So if you say $2 a mile is the least, then we'll look for loads that are paying $2 a mile or better. If you say $2.50 a mile is the least, then we'll look for loads that's paying $2.50 a mile per mile or better. That's how that works. Other information. Um, that's a required field by the asterisk indication. What areas of the country do you try to avoid? So some people may say New York because of tolls uh, and then and mountains, mountain areas, you could say, like over in the west or something like that. So the Rockies or the Appalachians, things like that. And then special instructions, that's a, that's a, um, a required field as an asterisk. Is there anything else you want your dispatcher to know? Weekends off. Just I'm just putting in data so you can see how fast, and then I'll put X Y Z trucking. Let's follow that same thing for that first example under the dispatch agreement. I'm signing it, and then hit submit. Processing. Thank you for your response. Let's go over to the email. Refresh the email, and there it is. So the first one was the Exodus dispatch agreement. This one, which is what we just did, is the profile, and it. It blanked everything out and started fresh. So this is the profile. Let's open that up. And there's that data. 53 foot drive in, 40,000 pounds. Even though it's a drive in, it's 45,000. But the carrier wants, they don't want to max out. They want to have it at 40,000. The lease is $2 a mile, so $2 or better. The areas they want to avoid, New York because of the tolls and, and in all mountain areas. Any special instructions, weekends off, and the signature. And that's essentially it. That's how easy and streamlined it is to get set up under Exodus, Dispatching, and Associates. You go online now and you fill out the forms, the, the dispatch agreement form and the profile form. And you, under the dispatch agreement form, again, you want to make sure that you send us the documents that we need in addition to the dispatch agreement and profile in order to book loads on a regular basis, namely W-9, MC authority letter, and certificate of insurance. If you don't, even if you fill out the dispatch agreement and you don't send those forms, when we go to book our first load with the broker, we're going to ask you for those forms anyway because we need them. If you're doing a carrier packet, either a paper carrier packet or some type of brokerage that has an onboarding process online, they are still going to need these documents. So at some point, we will communicate and uh, try to get those documents for you and have them in our filing system that one time, that way we won't have to bug you again for those forms until the point where um, any of those forms become close to being expired, like, for example, your policies on your certificate of insurance. So that's the goal of and the purpose of a, an effective dispatcher. We want to streamline the process for you in such a way that you just focus on driving and we focus on dispatching. That's the whole goal. So if you are in agreement with that and you want to use us as an option for a dispatching service, go to www.exodus dispatching and training, go to the carrier services area, fill out the online dispatch agreement and profile, and then one of our agents or associates, I should say, will get in contact with you and begin the process of um, dispatching loads for you. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.